What's up, internet? Well, whatever you want to call it, internet, interwebs, people. <laughs> There's just not a good word for that, is there? Anyway, hey guys, what's up? I'm sorry about not vlogging in a while. We've had a lot of stuff going on. Um, and yeah, it's taken up a lot of my time. And there's nothing you guys would actually want to watch in a vlog because it's all very boring stuff. Just kind of day-to-day -day life of cleaning. Lots and lots of cleaning. Uh, that's what happens when you have dogs, though. They leave fur everywhere, or as I like to call it, husky glitter everywhere. Is they dirty. They dirty. They stinky dirty dogs. <laughs> anyway, we are on our way to Guardian. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, you're blocking the rear view mirror. Sorry. Try to change lanes. Whee! Put that down here. So, we are on our way to Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Dos, as I say. Um, and yeah. I have high hopes. We have high, this. high really do. hopes. We're praying. Just like we were uh, discussing earlier how we both have really high hopes for Wonder Woman. Yeah. It's like, we have a long list of movies that we just want to be good this year. Just, just please don't bomb them because otherwise I will be very depressed in my life. <laughs> I will. I'm like, yeah. I want Wonder Woman to be good. I wanted Batman and versus Superman to be good. I wanted uh, Suicide Squad to be good, and I keep getting disappointed. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh my gosh, yeah. So, we found out some very sad news. Our local drive-in will not be getting Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And that's usually Chris and I's very favorite thing to do in the summertime is to head to the drive-in to watch um, the big blockbuster movie of the season, which is almost a, is the summer blockbuster. And it's great to go to our local drive-in to catch them. And they're not getting it because they couldn't afford to get the right to a Disney film. Um, because apparently Disney raised the rates for the movie theater to get it or something like that. Is that what you took away from that? Yeah, it seems like uh, the studios take a share of the profits that the movie tickets sell. And apparently Disney has raised the their take. I don't know what it is, but that's what the, the Midway Drive-In Theater said on their Facebook. And it's, uh, I don't know, it kind of interests me because it's like, <clears throat> I knew that movie studios took a profit. I just didn't know how big it was. But if they honestly can't even show a Disney film, or a film that's being put out by a Disney company like Marvel without making a profit, that's kind of sad. Yeah, it really is. And I was like, well, that means they're not going to get, like, Pirates of the Caribbean or, um, what's the other Disney movies coming out this summer? You put me on the spot, honey. I don't I'm trying know. trying to remember. I don't know. I'm trying to remember because I'm usually uh, the one who looks uh, at the listings. Blah, 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 blah. Every, every Marvel movie, every normal Disney Pixar movie, all that, yeah. Yeah, they'll not be able to get any of them. getting there they can't afford it yeah. so it, that's really depressing for us because that's one of our favorite things to do in the summertime is get in the car go watch a movie and drive it we love it but then we're fortunate to have one left in our area because i know that they actually aren't as common anymore there's not but a couple hundred left in the entire country they're hard to find yeah yeah they really are and we're fortunate to have like i can think of six of them within like an hour drive of our house yeah, Ohio's awesome. Ohio is awesome. We love it here. Um, do you think that would be something that they would uh, want to do? Like, obviously they want people to know about it because other movie, oh, other drive-ins are also like basically not showing Disney movies because they can't make a profit and it's taking their money away from them. Right. I wonder if they'd want to like create some sort of like campaign video or something. Maybe. I mean, it'd be interesting to think about. It'd be kind of fun if maybe I could get in contact with a mile. We'll talk about it. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, that's what's going on with us. We're just heading to Gardens of the Galaxy uh, to uh, screening for tonight up in Valley View. Woohoo! Um, it's our friend Craig's birthday. Happy birthday, Craig! Happy birthday, Craig! We're not going to see this for a couple of days past this, but happy birthday to that movie guy. If you guys follow us on Twitter or anything like that, he's somebody we know. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. And we're just geeking out and talking about things that are going to be in the next couple of months in terms of videos. Um, and trying to plan our Halloween stuff. My arm's getting tired. Switching arms. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all we're doing right now is... Just 
driving as we always do. We spend a lot of time in this car. We put like 30,000 miles on the car in a year and a half or something like that. It's been crazy. Uh, so yeah, uh, always good, always good. <laughs> but how's your guys' day going? Mine's been semi-non-productive. I stayed in bed till four reading and watching movies that are uh, crappy. <laughs> On occasion, I just feel like hermiting in my bed and not moving or doing anything. That's been the last couple of days of me watching movies like 27 Dresses and oh, uh, Stick It. Um, and actually, I like Stick It. I like Stick It. <laughs> Stick It is a good movie, but yeah, I watched a whole bunch of movies like that. So, 27. <laughs> I watched 27 Dresses. Don't judge me. That's about, I don't know. I don't judge you at all. I like bring it on the cheerleader movie so right, right. I can only say so much <laughs> right and sometimes you just gotta watch those crappy films just to, to stay in bed just do nothing and not accomplish anything and well it's good to have decompression movies yes you know I mean like you can watch you know like a really hard movie and then you're just like ah oh. like and now I'm gonna just go watch uh, I don't know Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius right <laughs> I know, I love those types of films. I, I watched a ton of them. I watched Birdcage and In and Out. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, so you watched two, like, really, like, pro-homosexual movies. Yeah, in a row, because they got, re somehow they were in my recommended thing yeah. on Google Play. And I was like, oh. I remember In and Out. That movie's pretty good. Great, but. So was Birdcage. Right. And the funny thing is, like, they were from the 90s. Yeah. And I was not allowed to watch them when I was in the 90s. So those were actually my first time watching it. Because they were inappropriate. Right. Because I was like seven and eight when they come out, so they're definitely inappropriate for a little kid to be watching. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all of the fun, all the good stuff. Um, what else did I watch? I forget. I have a long list of things I've watched in the last couple of days. So. Just right? <laughs> yeah, I watched Just Sorry, Right. Sorry, Queen Latifah? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> I, made me, I made some way through Queen Latifah movies as well because I, I love her as an actor. I know, right? Um, but, uh, yeah. And I'm running out of things to talk about, so I'm going to cut this here and pick it up when I get back from the movie because it'll be too dark to vlog bye, on the way bye. home. <laughs> that was kind of creepy. Bye. But, Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's better.